Hi guys, welcome back to another edition of Horse Racing Preview. <laughs> this week's feature comes to us from Belmont Park, so that must only mean one thing. <laughs> yep, it is definitely time for the Belmont Stakes. But first of all, let's get something out of the way, guys. Happy one year anniversary to JC's Horse Racing Preview on YouTube. So, thanks to all the watchers, thanks to my subscribers. I'm going to tell you early, share this video so we can grab some more subscribers and a lot more watches. And with that being said, let's get started right away, shall we? I got a lot to talk about, guys. Um, first of all, before I do get to the main event, the Belmont, I do have some uh, picks for you on the undercard. Um, so let's, and they're all at Belmont too, by the way. So let's get started. <laughs> Guys, Belmont race six. I'm liking Disco Partner. Race seven, I'm liking Cookie Dough. Race eight, I'm liking Mind Control. And race ten, I'm liking Robert Bruce. Those are some of your picks for, you know, the undercard to get you started, get you warmed up for the Belmont. <laughs> Guys, oh, and one more thing quick. Um, if your respective tracks do pick up beautiful Horseman's Park in Omaha, Nebraska, our big, big race of the day is a Who, Doctor Who, Handicap. And that is race seven at Horseman's, and I am liking Go Gold. So there's a string of, you know, bonus picks for you. Anyway, moving right along to the main event, the Belmont Stakes. <laughs> race 11. Obviously, a mile and a half for three-year-olds, one million five hundred thousand dollar purse. That's pretty tasty, <laughs> guys. You know, I am liking Tacitus in this one, um, really, because I I was looking for a closer, and obviously with the, the huge distance here, and he is the only real closer I can see um, in this field. Um, let's see, he rallied from 16 down, you know, at, at Churchill and obviously ran fourth before the, the DQ bumped him up to third. Um, but that was super amazing right then and there. And that's one of the reasons why I got him on top. Um, you know, because that's super, like I said, that's super cool. He'd come from 16 down and run fourth, almost third, you know, before before the Stewart's had their look. Um, I also like his try back at Tampa. He came from six down to grab a Vic. So that was awesome too. So this horse really can close for you guys. That's what you're going to need on Saturday. Um, he just knows how to make his entrance in the nick of time. <laughs> so tack it just on top, you guys. Um, right in a second, I am going with Japan's Master Fencer. Master Fencer, guys. Um, he definitely tried to make a rally at the Derby. Um, so he's probably another good closer for you guys. But he wasn't quite able to get to where he needed to be. But nonetheless, um, you know, but the time before that, it says that he was able to make that rally and run second for you. So um, this one, you know, he's got my favorite Julian LaPeru board again. So um, Master, Master Fencer looks like a perfect choice to run second. And guys, rounding up the top three, I'm like in War of Will. Um, he's definitely the best of the rest um, in this field. Pamlico, you guys, he was like a soccer extraordinaire. He stalked them from fourth and came up out of nowhere with pinpoint precision accuracy in that race. And, and you know, he could easily win this race at Belmont. But um, I'm just thinking that you know, he had a couple trouble trips before that. But throughout most of his PPs, he looks great. Um, I'm just thinking maybe he's going to get caught at the wire by your closers up there. So I got War Will run third for you guys. And guys. The JC Upset Special, Sir Winston. Guys, I've said it before, I'll say it again. If you like what you see, and I know that you do, please hit subscribe so you never ever miss a video. And guys, if something out there you know likes horse racing, send them my way so they never ever miss a video as well. And I'll catch you next week. Bye.